Hey, English. I'm just going to make a little uh, tutorial here about something I've been thinking about with about writing the research essay. Um, after my experience of teaching writing for many years, something that was always very challenging for writing research was um, kind of the process, kind of watching the students process, be able to get a bird's eye view of it without constantly collecting stuff and trying to get it back fast enough that you don't break up the process. And so, you know, I've been thinking about this a lot, how technology can change that. And I think I've come up with some some ideas on how this can be done. Um, kind of the beginning of this workflow, we've assumed that students have done some research, that they've gone to Seattle Public Library. In a lot of these databases, you can download the PDF of the article. And so we're going to assume the students have done that. And I'm just going to share my screen and go through um, how I built this workflow. I have some stuff already developed that I'll probably share, but I'm just going to try to demo this from a student's perspective using the Windows 10 app, uh, an app that I'm not as familiar with, but here we go. So, um, so I've gone to Seattle Public Library. I've downloaded these articles. You know, so, you know, here's an article about brain friendly teaching, reducing learners cognitive load. I want to get this into a, a space where I can annotate on it. Um, which is going to be my OneNote. Uh, to get there, you can go to File and Print. Now, if the students have done it, if they've downloaded this uh, share to OneNote, they can print directly the OneNote 10 app, which is what I'm going to do here, not to 2016. So I'm going to hit Send to OneNote. I'm going to hit Print. And then you just we're just going to keep doing this over and over again. Uh, there's a singular page for each one. Now to get these into one page, what I'm going to need to do is make a page and I'm going to call this, you know, um, like a one pager. And I can grab this article and click down here. And if I hit control A, it's going to select everything. If I hit control C, I'm going to copy it, come to my one pager, select the area I want to paste it to and hit control V to paste. I can do the same here with uh, this beyond bullet points, which is a very large one. If I hit control A, it's going to select all. If I hit control C, it's going to copy it. I'm going to come back to this page and I scroll to the top. I want to place this kind of right next to the first article. So I'm going to do that right here. And it's going to throw that in there right next to the article that we um, we just printed. It's a longer article, so here it is on top. You'll see. Now I'm going to keep doing this process. I've already done this and until I get all of my articles onto a singular page like this, and you can see that um, here are all the articles uh, that I have from my files. I've already read these. I, I am doing a little bit of research personally, so I have already read these and I've made some annotations. Um, what I love about this page is that if this is in the class notebook content library, I'm sorry, in the student class notebook, as an educator, I can see, hey, I can look at all of my students' resources. I can look and see, hey, look, they're annotating this. They're taking some notes. You know, they're um, they're definitely reading this stuff. I can teach and critique our students as they annotate, as they take notes. So I'm able to give them more feedback than I was in the past. What I was taught to do uh, when doing, you know, essay outlines, I was taught that, you know, you read. Then you come up with your outline, then you grab that evidence and you start writing the essay, right? So I've come up with this little um, essay outline here that it's pretty basic, right? It's like um, it has you know a little bit paragraph outline. It has some place to put supporting evidence, and then it has an area for me to write that paragraph rough draft, right? Essentially. I can sit here and write all of these, you know, what my outline for the first paragraph is going to be. Um, and then what I want to do is grab my supporting evidence. I can do that by coming back to my, my one pager with all of my notes on it and using the snipping tool, yet yeah, this tool, this here, 
I can leave some white space on either end so I can do the you know page number and you know author's name. But I can I can snip my highlights. You know I can come back up to the top and say, all right, what was this author's name? I can grab my snip tool here, and I can with my pen I can ink. You know this came from you know page one hundred six. And it's from, um, you know, Tan De Jong, so I can write. And I can put annotations I want in this note card. I can copy this, come back to my essay outline, like that. As I get my notes here, I can get all the notes about that first paragraph, which is going to be defining cognitive load. Now I've got an example on another OneNote page of, of finishing this, but ultimately I want this to look like this. You know, I want to have um, my paragraph outline here. I want to grab the evidence from the various articles that support that. And then when I'm writing my, my paragraph, right, I can actually look at the quotes and integrate those quotes directly into my paragraph rough draft. Now you would do this for multiple paragraphs. Like I would have one for the introductory paragraph, middle paragraph, as many paragraphs as I want, because we can grab that template. You know, we can grab this this little template here. We can move the template around if I want to. I can copy the template, and I can paste it again into a different section of the uh, the notebook and keep adding paragraphs as I go. Ultimately, what the student would end up doing is grabbing the the paragraphs that they've written. And then they'll copy and paste the paragraphs into Word for the final, um, for the original rough draft where they're going to, you know, put everything together. So in a nutshell, that's kind of, um, you know, my what I've been thinking about when it comes to research. Uh, the idea, though, the best part is that it's all in one place. Teachers can kind of see where the students are in the process. They're able to see the supporting evidence. Um, and I think it's a it's a real different way of doing things. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. And I'm going to upload a little document. Um, take a look at it.